Kerry Washington is having a hell of a week. She just scored four Emmy nominations, had a virtual reunion with her scandal castmates, and is executive producing a new documentary that every American should be watching. It's called The Fight. Please welcome back the fabulous, our little sister, Kerry Washington. Hey. Hi. So, welcome back. Hey. Hello. Four nominations, four Emmy nominations. Uh, you got them for acting and executive producing. Are you in, yeah. a, in your stride? Are you feeling that stride now? I don't know. You know, I think it's the Bronx girl in me. Sunny, let me know if you relate. I'm just in my hustle, you know? I'm just nonstop <laughs> in my hustle, trying to just take advantage of the opportunities I have when I have them to be able to uplift other voices and marginalized voices, voices of women and people of color and LGBTQ folks and Latinx folks, just like how can we make room for everybody's voice in, at the table in this world? Well, Carrie, you said you had a mission to create a safe and inclusive working environment on the set of Little Fires Everywhere, and the majority of directors and writers that you and Reese Witherspoon hired were women. Um, what's been different about being able to create and work on sets like this? You know, I think it really started for me on Scandal because I had such a phenomenal experience working with Shonda, Shonda Rhimes, obviously, who was my boss in Shonda Land. Um, and there were nuances about working with and for a woman, a woman of color, that were very new for me, things I had never experienced, levels of acceptance and belonging. But I think what's really great is that a lot of us, through the work of Time's Up, for example, are working to make sure that those are just standards, right? That you don't have to be, you don't have to work for somebody that looks like you to be treated with dignity and equity. Um, working to make sure that all workplaces are welcoming of all people. So we we try to do that on Little Fires. We try to do that in everything we do. And, um, and I work with Time's Up to try to make sure that all environments, regardless of who is in charge, are places where you can be treated fairly and, um, and safely. Now, Carrie, you starred in the 2018 Broadway um, production of American Sun, which I saw on Broadway, and it was just phenomenal. Um, and then you produced and starred in the TV movie for Netflix of that Broadway show. It's about a mom uh, waiting to hear news from the police about her missing teenage son. The movie is apparently having a resurgence on Netflix right now with people who are saying they want to deepen their understanding of what black mothers experience, which I'm thrilled about. Um, when you hear that, how does it make you feel as a mom? It's, you know, I'm really proud. That's one of the nominations that we got this week. My company, Simpson Street, American Sun, was nominated for Best Television Film. Um, I'm really proud of it because a lot of why I wanted to make that film was to help us shed light on what it means to parent Black children um, and not even to be a Black parent, you know, but I have Sandra Bullock, for example, came to see the play on Broadway, and she's the mother of a Black child, right? So there's, when you are parenting a Black, black child, there are unique concerns, you know, because of the systematic institutionalized racism. So I'm really proud. I'm sorry. I was getting a call from my mom. Um, I'm really proud that the play, um, you know, allows <laughs> Black and black moms, moms of black children to see themselves and also allows um, other people to understand a little bit of what that walk looks like and feels like. Maybe you should take that call, Carrie. <laughs> I know, as I'm, as I'm talking about black moms, I'm like, my, my beautiful black mom just called me. <laughs> So let me ask you this, you know, we are less than 100 days from the election, 100 days, and you have been heavily involved in several uh, voter rights campaigns. You said that you want people to remember that there aren't just two people on the ballot, <clears throat> uh, and we need to be looking at, in our own communities about who's running. Uh, tell us more about that. Well, I just think, you know, we tend to get really excited around presidential elections. And this is undoubtedly a really, really important election, um, the most important election of our, any of our lifetimes, I, I, I would argue. Um, 
But I think we need to remember that change happens on many levels. So if people are feeling, you know, like they don't, I just worry that sometimes people worry, let me say this right. I worry that people don't feel like who they vote for as president has an impact. Who you vote for as president has a tremendous impact, but also you have an opportunity to vote for judges and DAs and sheriffs, people who make, and school board leaders, people who make real day-to-day -day decisions in your community. So your vote is important, not just on a national level, but really the things that you care about Decisions are made about the things that you care about on a local level. So all of that voting is really important. I love there's a site called Ballot Ready, which is really great in terms of figuring out the stance of all of those, um, all of those folks on the ticket to figure out, you know, who matches up with your values and your priorities.